Konnichiwa, my name is Logan Charles Luna, and this is going to be my week two um, sketchbook tour for JoJo October, JoJo October 2020. And day eight was Waifu in the prompt list. Of course, there's only one JoJo gal for me, and it's Jolene. Now, moving on to. The next day, day eight, on oh no, a day nine, was Hasbando. And basically, if you're not Bruno Bucciardi, keep on walking, buddy. All right, I really started to feel kind of the challenge of doing a big artwork and fan art every day. For Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and day 10 was a volume cover I uh, didn't color this one at all really got overwhelmed by just getting the detail of all these characters lined up together to do this pose for one of my favorite volume covers of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and yeah so I just kind of left it grayscale you can definitely tell from the background that I was pretty tired at this point. This one took a little longer than the other artworks I worked on up until that point. Usually I'd get things done in like 90 minutes at the most for some of these fan arts. However, with this one, it took around almost three hours to complete. And yeah, I really got just kind of tired working on this. The next one for day 11 was Jojo OC. So when I designed this character, I just knew I wanted to make like a female wrestler from taking inspiration from Aja Kong and all the other Joshi wrestlers from the 90s that really just made me Fall in love with Japanese pro wrestling. Definitely Bullocano. You can tell from the hair. A lot of inspiration from her and the face paint. So this character, I felt like it could fit. Like she could fit in part three as one of the stands that Dio sends after them. Or she could definitely fit in Morio and... Most likely part six in the women's prison. You know, she looks like she's killed someone. Intentionally or not. And her name is going to be Muscle Buster. And her stand name is Kaze Ninare. If you guys are pro wrestling fans of the Japanese pro wrestling scene, you know what that song is. You get the reference. You can tell she's really dangerous based on that song name alone. For day 12, the prompt was JoJo's AU. So to do a part in an alternate universe, mainly it's going to be set in like the Steel Ball Run universe. I didn't want to directly make it after Jojolian, but I based it more on a character I've already designed before as part of an art challenge. So this is Joanna and her stand Pulse Demon. And if you're into weird Japanese punk rock and experimental noise music like I've gotten into the last year for some reason, I think just going down the rabbit hole of punk rock music led me to Mersbo or Mersbow, however you say it. And yeah, spacing out, listening to what is completely absolute noise, it's just weird. It's like listening to the ocean, honestly. Somewhat relaxing. So here's Joanne, and the character is named after the Lady Gaga song, Joanne. Because I feel like of all the musical references, it works. You know, maybe this is some character that kind of dies young at the end of the part. 
And now we're moving on to, I guess, technically what would, would be week three. But these days have already passed. So I'm just going to show you guys here. This is going to be day 13. And it was video game. So I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter, especially Street Fighter V lately. And Rainbow Mika has kind of gone into my default character selection. Usually I pick Chun-Li or Kami. Those have been like the only two Street Fighter characters I ever choose. But now definitely Rainbow Mika has made her way to be a permanent roster member, if you would. And this is her stand, Cold Rain. I feel like Rainbow Mika definitely would fit into the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure world. Uh, once again, most likely in part six. And now we move on to day 14 of the Jojo October, Jojo October art challenge. This is gender bend. And for day 14, I decided who better to, you know, girly up a bit than Rohan Kishibe. And here's Remy Sugimoto on the side. She just wants to check up on Rohan, see how he developed, see if everything's going all right with him, with her. So kind of to throw a curveball, I put swimsuit on the prompt list that I made. And there were definitely a few different angles. I could have used like a reference for Hato Higashikata, but I decided just to go with this side profile view and definitely more than any other character, more than cars even, Hato is definitely one of the most thick Jojo characters in all of Jojos. And who knows, maybe one day I will do that infamous Hato Higashikata so thick angle that all Jojolian readers know and love. And now we're finally caught up to today. At the time of recording this video, it's day 16. And the prompt for today was playing card. I did this, I started it late at night and I finished it in the morning. I finished it a few minutes before I started recording this video. And yeah, so here's Josuke, part four Josuke. And he's got some stands on playing cards behind him. They're set up in the diamond suit because diamond is unbreakable. So the ace is Crazy Diamond. Then over to the side, Queen is Killer Queen. King is the hand. The jack is Echoes because it's a jack of all trades. And number 10, the perfect stan, the number 10 of everyone's hearts, Star Platinum. All right, uh, let me know if you guys enjoy when I do sketchbook tours and videos like this in the comments like the video if you enjoyed this content subscribe if you want to see more stuff of me actually drawing fan arts and talking about things and doing reviews while drawing a fan art of something if i really liked it or drawing something that i liked and then just shit talking something i didn't like you can follow my social media to keep up with all of the JoJo's fan art that I'm making for the month of October. Both Twitter and Instagram is going to be LCLX25. Join the Patreon if you want a video shout out at the end of these videos. If you want exclusive fan art. If you want to vote on future fan arts. If you want special digital commissions, which means doesn't necessarily have to be a fan art. It could just be some artwork I'm working on and you wanted a digital scanner, a copy of it, of the file. And there's some other reward tiers where you get some special fan art, which is more the 18 plus stuff. 
and it's not all necessarily arrow gay or hentai sometimes it, you just want a shirtless drawing of some character like i don't know hisoka <laughs> i've been re-watching hunter hunter that's probably why i said hisoka nobody ever wants to run into a shirtless hisoka that's that's a full-on nightmare and it's fitting for october all right this video went off on another tangent i never really know how to end these so I'm just going to say sayonara.